Hello everyone, this is Michael. In this video, we will talk about uh, create a new schematic component. Okay, uh, let's open the software and we will open the schematic library edit. The first thing we need to uh, select a working library. We choose our library, our old library, and then we will create a new um, components. Create a new components. The components name is MCU. We will create a MCU, okay? And uh, it is here. The first thing we move the uh, field, move it a little bit, move it a little bit. You can use the M key, press the M, and you also can move it, okay? The second, the last thing is will be added a body, okay? And you can change the, um, you can change the color of it or not. And, but we keep it uh, like this first and we uh, added the pin so um, the first pin will be VCC power okay this is first pin pin one and uh, okay so it will be here and the next pin will be uh, Pin zero, we can like this. This is pin zero, pin zero. Uh, we change the pin name, it's two, pin two. Okay, so um, if you want to repeat the uh, repeat replace the pin you can press the inset inset key here so it will automatically increase the pin number and the pin name and then we edit this one make it capital okay so uh, the, the inset key is this one inset in the in the uh, keyboard okay inside key in the keyboard so um uh, we also can uh you place more pin at the another side so we will be like uh, this will be pin one zero and uh, it is eight. Okay. Um, this will be left. It will be like this. We press insert key. Okay. And um, press more. Okay. So. Uh, if you want to adjust the, the edge, so we can do like this. Uh, if you wanted to delete one, we you choose this, choose and press delete. Then it will delete uh, some of the pin. And if you want to edit uh, some others, uh, like... Um, Let's add it here. Pin name is crystal. This is crystal. This is pin, let's say, is uh, 14. And uh, we will change it uh, like this. And you can press instead. So uh, the... Um, the, the pin uh, actually 
13, you need to read the data sheet and according to the data sheet uh, detail information, you put the pin number or pin name here. Okay, we added some more, we added one more uh, reset. Okay, reset and this is six and put it here. Oh, if you, we needed to wrote the pin and here and move it like this. Um, you need notice this, we need to put this little circle, put need circle outside of the body, okay. It will be connected the wire of the sigmatica, okay. And okay, we need to edit one um, ground and we added one more um, pin like uh, uh, we didn't need the reset I should assume we don't need the reset and uh, we change this pin as ground assume it's like this okay and uh, we move it a little bit like this so okay um uh, you maybe you want to move this a little bit here or maybe move this here or you want to change the name of it for example you can change it like uh, uh smta STMA customize my okay so this is the special STMA created by myself yeah so it only have the VCC ground and uh, pin one pin zero and crystal so it's very simple one okay and okay let's save it Save. Save. Uh, let's open the Sigmatic. Uh, try to put it into the uh, Sigmatic. Find the library. And this is my STMA microcontroller. So it will be here. Okay, so that's one, that's a uh, entire new, new one, which we design it. Okay. Uh, so that's it. This is uh, create a new sigmatic components. Um, this is Michael. Uh, I hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you for your watching. Thank you.